So there's this concept of being that I that comes across my desk all the time. Uh, people say, Tim, I want to be a game developer. Tim, I want to be this thing. They don't say I want to make games. They say I want to be a game developer. Uh, a lot of people call themselves an aspiring game developer or whatever it may be. And it always, it always kind of made me a little bit curious, um, made me think back to what I used to think before I thought I could call myself a game developer or, or anything for that matter. Um, any of the stuff that I do, marketer, um, business owner, like all the different things that I, I went through. And I always remembered that like, that was a fascination of mine. I wanted to be a game developer. And I, I say game developer specifically because this is the one that stuck a chord with me because I remember there was a day where someone asked me what I did and I had, I was working with my company at that point, but we were doing marketing, we were doing web development, we were doing software development for, for stuff, but it was 3 a.m. and it was this local taco shop right down the road from my house. It was literally, it was like three blocks from my house and it was open 24 hours. I love that fucking taco place because I was down there almost every night. It was the only place open at 3 a.m. And uh, one of the guys asked me, what do you do? Because I was like the only one in there at 3 a.m. And I was like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a game developer. That's what, that's what I am. And the first thing he said was like, what games have you made? Or like, what, uh, have I heard of anything? And, uh, I was just like, shit, I haven't, he would, not only would he not hear of any of my games, I hadn't even finished any games at that point. So I didn't know anything out in the world or anything on mobile or anything. And I was just kind of like, oh, you wouldn't. No, there's nothing. And it's just, I was kind of stumbling for words. And um, I reflected on that point because I, I get, you know, I get messages uh, from people and they always say that line. It's like that line is, is I don't know what's so magical about it, but I, Tim, I want to be a game developer. I want to be. And one of the things that I realized about myself reading through my journals and, and going through that experience was that like, at some point I stopped wanting to be and I started reframing things to do, right? Stop being, start doing. Uh, and that sounds simple, right? Like, yeah, stop trying to be something and just start doing shit. Of course, doing shit gets things done. But I think it, it takes a reframe in your brain on how you actually look at things. So for example, for me, I stopped saying I want to be a game developer and I started saying, I'm going to work on my games today. I'm going to work on my shit today. Right? I stopped saying I want to be an author because I'm working on a book, right? I started saying I'm going to work on my book today. I'm going to make it happen. Stop saying I I want to be a YouTuber. Actually, I never said that. <laughs> I never called myself a YouTuber. But plenty of times I've said today I'm going to work on videos. And that little distinction for me has really transformed my life. And I didn't even realize it had happened uh, until I was reading through my journal, which by the way, if you don't keep a journal, you should. You have no idea how powerful it is to read back days, weeks, months, years, uh, and have a, a direct portal into your thinking. It's, it's, it's amazing uh, to be able to go back and, and research yourself and see how much you've changed. It helps you teach people. And anyway, I'm not gonna go down that line, but Changing what you say from wanting to be something to wanting to do something, reframing what you say from I want to be a game developer to I'm going to make games today, right? So I am going to do something uh, is, is really, really powerful. It's really something that I think a lot of people could benefit from. And a lot of people just sit around and they just say, oh, I want to be the thing, but they never actually uh, go through the process. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lecture on how much you should do or how you should just start daily routines. We have a thousand videos on the channel on all those subjects, right? But the main message that I want to get across today is that you should just reframe. Anytime you hear yourself saying, I wanna be something, I wanna be a millionaire, I wanna be a game developer, I wanna be whatever. Instead of saying that, just say, I'm gonna work on that thing today. Right? If you wanna be a millionaire, where what are you gonna do? I'm going to work on my business today, right? That's how you're going to get there. Um, and a lot of people just, they don't do it. 
that's the thing that's gotten me is anywhere near where I've gotten. And I'm not saying that I'm some massively successful dude. I'm not, but reframing how I talk to myself and the, the different things that I let out of my mouth and out of my brain or into my brain rather, um, I think really, really, really affect how I get things done and, and how it impacts me as a person. So next time you say, I want to be something, reframe it. So I want to do something or I'm going to do something right now because wanting something and working towards it are two very different things. And while that message may be simple and it may be maybe not something that you think you need to hear right now, you probably do. I need to. The part of the reason why I do these videos is to remind myself this is like a video journal for me. But uh, that's all I got for you today. Hope you found it useful. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. What do you want to be? And what are you going to do about it? Let me know down in the comments below. Once again, my name is Tim Roswick, and I will see you again tomorrow.